motherfucking UGK and you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, UGK <laughs> and 3-6 Mafia were at some point going to make a super group. We'll, we'll play a little clip from... I, I would light a blunt to that. Well, yeah, shit. I just did. I yeah. would light a blunt to that. Yeah. They were, they were going to be a, a super group. Um, I was going to play a clip, but I don't think I'm going to play a clip. Uh, don't take, don't get this, this episode taken down. I know, right? It's fucking copyright Don't shit. do that shit. Um, I know, man. The fucking killing podcast. Us. But anyways, he, Bun B was on Drink Champs with Noriega. You can look it up. Yeah, you can look it up. And uh, Bun B basically told the story of how Sipping on Some Scissor was originally a song that was going to lead into the super group, the Underground Mafia, which is the UGK uh, and 3-6 Mafia, yeah. which... Underground Kings and 3-6 Mafia. <laughs> right. Combined Underground Mafia. My goodness, that would have been fucking... That would have been some fucking heat rock. That would have been official right there. Right, right. I don't think people give 3-6 enough respect. Not enough. You know I, I was I, you know, you know, you know what I was listening I to today? Man. I was listening to Ludacris, yeah. uh, the word of mouth, and the song, Go to Sleep, Ho. Yeah. Go to Sleep, Ho. That song was... Uh, that song... They used to put out some banging the shit. Beat. The beat like, was fucking crazy. The, the production, they always right. had underrated production. Right. I mean, so imagine UGK, 3-6 Mafia together. Man, yeah, man, that would have been lit. That would have been fun. I mean, we seen sipping on some scissors. That was a hot ass track. So yeah, that would have came out dope, man. Um, it sucks that Pimpsey couldn't be because I believe that that shit would have happened. Yeah, well, they said it was when uh, he got locked up that really threw the wrench in it. Right. That's what he was saying. So yeah, it's like, and then after that he comes back home, and you know the moment kind of passed, like. I don't think the moment would ever pass. I think they would have. Well, oh, they could have done it. They, they would have done it. But then after because you see what happened with them and Outkast, so then yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I mean, Pimpsey Pimpsey died a, a while ago, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's been, like it's it, been like almost ten, almost ten years. Yeah, it was like oh seven. It's been a while, yo. Yeah, bro. It feels like it was just yesterday. R.I.P. Pimpsey. R.I.P. Chad Butler. Right. Uh, if y'all, you know, if y'all never heard any of UGK shit, I'm gonna point to you in the right direction right now. Go listen to. Um, <laughs> trying to pass me weed. Go listen to uh, ah. Riding Dirty. That's my favorite UGK album. I know some people believe other albums. Are Riding Dirty, favorite. Dirty Money. You know Dirty Money like. was a good one too. Those are my those are my top two favorite. Yeah, um, UGK albums. But and mainly the old school underground, <clears throat> underground uh, DJ Screw, UGK freestyles. Right, so if you right. can find those. Yeah. Classic. Let me tell you what you don't listen to though. The UGK band, the band UGK music. Okay, do not go listen to that because you it might turn you off from UGK. Like, okay. What is this? <laughs> I'm not even gonna repeat some of the shit that was said on here. But nah, anyways, but, um, but I I also like uh, you know, Bumby's solo shit and uh, Pimp C's solo shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Their solo shit was dope too. Yeah, I mean, together apart, they they. That early, that, that like mid '90s UGK though was like unfucking touchable, oh, bro. Yeah. It's yeah. just untouchable, man. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that shit was. And a lot of people believe that. That's what me. got them. That's what got them to Jay Z. So who do you think was a better rapper, Bun B or UGK? Or you? Excuse me, or Pimp C? <clears throat> man, I think all around artist was Pimp C. Right. But just just rap spitter, Bun, Bun B. B. But yeah, yeah. But all around artist, Pimp C had like he could sing, yeah. he could fucking uh, Pimp he, he spoke on that pimp shit, that hood yeah. shit. Just he would say so, he would just say so, he was like he a hood nigga. He, he didn't, didn't give a fuck. fuck. He Still not. Pimp C, bitch. So what the fuck is up putting powder on my street? Cause I got big fucking nuts. Hey, uh, go listen to Murder from UGK. Murder, all right. Murder. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. will say Bun B is the the more lyrical person, but Pimp C used to just pimp. say shit. That was raw. Um, it was just raw, bro. Like you can't even put that in any, any kind of word. Like where I could just—he was just raw. He was yeah. more. He was more raw than Bum B. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know what I'm saying? He and Bum B was Bumby, raw too, though. But Bum B—I was gonna say, but Bum B would step up to that same rawness at right. time. But he, he didn't always go that to that level right. where he'd say just off the wall shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Pimp C would say some shit that like no, you can't find anywhere else. Like <laughs> yeah. like. Bun B would use words in his wordplay that somebody else probably could have used. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about? Let Pimp me see the hairy asshole. It's like, what? <laughs> One time I heard Pimp C say, nigga, fuck BET and fuck Diana Ross. Shut the fuck up, old bitch. Lynn Thug is the boss. boss. 
<laughs> I said, what the fuck? That's Pimp. Yo, we this in BET and Divas, nigga? Rest in peace to Pimp. R.I.P. Pimp C, dog. This, this nigga's a legend. Yeah, both both of them. I mean, UGK, UGK uh, Bum B, Pimp C. Uh, I mean, the game would not be the same if we didn't have them. No, no disrespect to Diana Ross. I want y'all to know that. No disrespect to Diana Ross, but... Who got the balls to say fuck Diana Ross? <laughs> Only Pimp C, dog. Only Pimp C. <laughs> I, I don't even know why. I don't even know why he said this shit. <laughs> Pimp C, the one that brought up, he was like, what, what was he saying about Atlanta about the time zones and shit? Like, him, he did a whole. He did, he did, he did a, he did a whole fucking rent on, yeah. on Atlanta. He talked cash money on the whole city of yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, he just didn't get. did not give a fuck. Pimp what, C just he said, when I fly. He didn't care. When I fly in from Texas, what, what time zone y'all in? He said, y'all ain't even from the South. I was like, oh, oh shit. Man. Yeah. God damn. Had Shout out to Pimp C, though. A lot of controversy with that one. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of controversy. A lot of controversy with that one. Everybody was like, what the fuck? You gotta love it. I was like, you gotta fucking love it. Pimp C didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he did not give a fuck. R.P. Pimp C.